right? So AI is literally eating the world. We don't know how the world is going to change in the next few years. And what can you do? What is the path? Like you don't know what is going to happen. How do you prepare for something that you don't even know is going to happen? Right? You have two paths. You will have to still learn to code, even though maybe 10 years now, 10 years from now, you will not be using it enough. So on that note, let me call the second speaker for today. He is Mr. Anurag Gagar, Senior Vice President, Product Management of Big Micro, and his topic for today will be flying in the sky. So you are not just a founder, you are 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 the founding batch of this college, right? What does that mean? You are getting into a legacy that doesn't exist yet. But what's the great part? You get to write it. Right? You get to define what it means to be in this college. You get to set traditions, you get to set the culture, you get to set the standards that people that come into these seats will follow. And that's a great privilege, and that's a great responsibility. AI is literally eating the world. We don't know how the world is going to change in the next few years. And what can you do? What is the path? Like you don't know what is going to happen. How do you prepare for something that you don't even know is going to happen? You have two paths. Watch AI reshape the world. Right? All of these tools are interesting. You can play with these tools, you can have fun, it can do some of your, you know, writing jobs, etc. I hope you don't use it for the coding jobs. You've already heard the, the warning from the, uh, the mentor before this, right? Uh, so you can watch it reshape the world or you can tell it how to reshape the world. Right? You have to take a call. This AI is going to change the world. Right? We all know that. Right? It's not about learning tools, about learning specific skills. It is about building this muscle of how to learn. Because this learning is not going to stop for your lifetime. Right? Your, your hair, it's a great call that you've taken to be in a, in a college which is focusing on learning by doing things. Uh, right? But it is not about uh, obsessing over specific tools, about focusing on a certain language that you can learn and you know, get really better at. Yeah, like maybe Python is very cool right now and you can become a master in Python. Maybe 10 years later, you know, no one is using Python any longer. So all the skills that you build towards it, does that go waste? In some sense you could say yes, but in a lot of ways no. Right? Because what you've done, you basically build that muscle of learning. Right? So what you need to learn is actually how can you learn new skills? How do you learn something new in a week? How do you ask better questions, right? So you have to aim to be the person who can learn anything in life. You can't predict what is going to be important and relevant 10 years from now, but you have to believe that once you've understood this process of how to learn something new, you can repeat this process over and over again. Now that new thing could be anything, right? But as long as you believe that you can do this and you build that muscle, you build that skill, that is what is very, very important, right? So learn to learn fast, learn to unlearn, and that is what the real degree is. You will have to still learn to code, even though maybe 10 years now, 10 years from now, you will not be using it enough. The best way to learn is not to study. The best way to learn is actually to build something or to teach someone. That is how you learn the most. You can sit behind, I think uh, there was this mention about saying that you can watch those uh, you know, lectures sitting in your hostel room as well, but it is not going to give you that learning that you learn by osmosis. Right? Similarly, if you build something that actually challenges you, that really questions whether you've understood something deeply or not. Be someone that other people want to work with. It is, you of course learn about computers, you learn about coding, you learn about AI, but do not forget to learn about people, right? All of these people around you, uh, they are going to be, like some of them are going to be your best friends, right? And best friends of life possible, right? It is important to learn about people, about values, about your own self, that is going to take you far. You don't want to have a glowing CV, you know, kick-ass projects, right? Something which those YouTube videos that I spoke about that have a lot of followers, etc. But in real world, no one wants to work with you. Like that is not how the world works, right? Like a lot of things are built uh, using teamwork. And how do you do that? You do that by being good to each other, right? By helping people out, right? That is what uh, takes you to the next level. Know that some of these people around you are also going to be the best friends. You have to lift each other up. You have to make sure that you don't excel within this class itself, you excel in the world as you go out there and there is a much much bigger pool of people waiting and trying to do the same things so, uh, that you can do. Right? So, uh, 
So be good to each other while you compete on some things. There will be a lot of things you will compete on, including grades, jobs, internships, maybe the same boyfriend, girlfriend, etc. Like a lot of things will happen over the next four years. So all of that is going to be a part of it. But know that the real competition is outside. So yeah, be brilliant, yes. But be open and be kind. Because the best product that you will end up creating is you. Right? That is, that is going to be the best thing that you will ever produce in life. So make sure you produce, produce someone, you make yourself someone who you can be proud of. Right? So that's it from my side. Thank you so much. You're the first. You are the first batch, make it count. <laughs>